I've only got two doors to paint. I don't want to run to the store and try to buy these painter's pyramids. So what do I do? Hey, I'm Tony Collin, the How-To Hero, and I want to share with you a simple hack for painting cabinet doors. Now, if you've ever refinished a bathroom vanity or kitchen cabinets or anything like that, you felt the pain of having to finish cabinet doors. I'm using a Valspar enamel for the doors and the cabinet base, and I ran into a little problem. I painted one side of the doors last night, and I need to paint the other side today so that I can make sure the drying time's not taking me you know, a week or two longer because the enamel needs time to set. So I need some offsets or something so I can flip the door over and paint the other side. Uh, the paint's cured enough to flip them over, but I don't want to set the whole door on a piece of wood or anything like that. So what do I do? Well, you can go buy the, you know, the plastic, you know, painter's pyramids that hold the door up on a little point and you can do that. But I ran into the issues, I don't have any of them. I've only got two doors to paint. I don't want to run to the store and try to buy these painter's pyramids. So what do I do? How do I fix that? I'm going to show you right now. Then we just take our door, paint it side down, and we set it on top of the standoffs. You may have to adjust the standoffs. These are just a little bit outside the where we want them. So I'm just gonna angle these in just a little bit. I believe that's gonna give me the spot that I need. It's good enough to spray what you need to spray without being too much of a, a pain. So I've only got a couple of doors to paint and I need to paint the opposite side. Here's the doors that I've painted. This is a tricorn black color and I just got two. So, you know, I need to paint the other side. So what do I do? What I did was on the other side where I painted them, it's got an outline of the door. I'll show you that right now. It's got an outline of the doors where I painted it. I don't have the plastic painter's pyramid. So what do I do now? I just shot some finished nails at each of the corners of the door. You're probably thinking, well, that's gonna scratch the paint up. Well, here is the simple trick. Take this wire nut, stick it on top of the, on top of the, uh, on top of the finish nail, and you have your standoffs. It's a simple trick. To get you where you need to be with it and just straighten your straighten your nails up so that they're so that they're going in at a, a straight way I've got I've got two doors so obviously I've got eight nails the paint's cured enough that we can flip them over we just don't want to mar that top up with a pressure from the piece of plywood we don't want to mar it up with the pressure from that plywood on the whole surface we just want to touch as little surface as possible and that's what we'll do and that's it simple trick on how to paint cat how to paint the opposite side of cabinet doors or you can use this on the initial paint paint one side flip it over paint the other side you're good to go thanks for watching